Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Call CMGB, which I still don't... I I assume it stands for Game Boy, right? It has to. But I don't have proof, because it's Japan. Uh, anyway, a uh, couple things. I found a guide uh, that was listed in the guide on GameFAQs. The incomplete guide on GameFAQs listed its source, which is a Japanese-only, like... I, I want to say wiki, but it was like before wikis existed, so it was like... Just a website. <laughs> remember, remember those. Um, but uh, I linked it in the description of the first part, and I'll link it in the description of this one. Uh, I did Google Translate the entire page, which works well enough, I guess, to get like you know, to get most of what I need to know. It messes with the links sometimes, so you might have to click around the links uh, a few times to get it right. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that's a good resource. I learned a lot about the game just from looking at that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I think is pretty fun, kind of bearing the lead here. Hey, let's just do a little thought experiment here. Save, uh, save game, saved. Okay, sweet. Now, uh, what happens if I just, like, reset here, right? Let's just assume that, like, I don't know, let's say, like, I recorded part one of a video and then, uh, closed it out. A new day, uh, came upon us and then I loaded the game up and was like, okay, time to continue my save. Uh... Which would be, uh, you know, because I, I saw that it said saved. So na naturally, that's what would happen, right? Uh, so then you go into story, load. Oh, huh. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it just doesn't work. I like, but it did work at least once. Because this is like post when I got all these monsters, but they're all level one again. So this is like immediately saving after I got all of them. Uh, one star chip. So that's pretty cool. Maybe thinking, Nick, you were pretty brazen about doing that. Yeah, because I, I made a save state. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Uh, I the the problem is, I didn't make a save state the first time, so I had to go back and redo all of that. Uh, so I I got them all, everyone back up to level three. Uh, and I think I have significantly more starships this time because I just didn't waste them. Not significant. I got six. Uh, but but yeah. So, I, it's, uh, I guess I have to use save states. My assumption is that it's not supposed to work inside of the, uh, the RPG sections. So, even though it says saved, it's not going to work here. So, be careful. If you are playing this game or, uh, want to play it on your own, I recommend using save states instead. Because they're more reliable. Uh, what else? Oh, I learned, uh, like I said, so in the, in the manga, the, the level cap is five. That is not the case in this game. Uh, it's like, I, I can't tell. I don't know if there is a cap. I think, I want to say like 99 probably. Um, because there, some of the evolutions are like, yeah, this evolves at level like 30. And there's like one evolution I saw that's evolved at level 50. So, you know, <laughs> that's, that's the game. Anyway, let's get back to it. Preamble's over. I wanted to go over some of the stuff I learned and show the strife that I went to or went through. Are you an adventurer? Please make yourself at home. Okay. What's in your well? Ah, uh, uh, It's one of my favorite puns. Well, well, well. Tits a well. Used for drawing water. Tits a clean and well wiped table. Okay. Sick. Can't walk this grass, but can walk on the flowers. Okay. Oh, they did even do the screen switch. Wow, that's that's an old school screen switch. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, what can we do? I, I die, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's table the flavor text for now. <laughs> Look at this. There's an HP capsule inside the drawer. Table the flavor text. Uh, I feel like the translators had fun with this. Don't mistake this for any ordinary barrel. After all. There is a DF capsule inside. Hell yeah. It's a barrel. There's nothing inside. The mayor is a total wreck after what happened. Okay. I think you guys aren't giving me a lot to go on here. Alright. I think this guy's the mayor. Monsters came from the dark cave. Kid kidnap Ped, my daughter. They said they'll trade her for our village treasure. But that would anger our guardian de uh, deity. De deity. Is deity spelled? Isn't the E first? Anger our guardian deity. Uh, what to do? 
The dark cave is beyond the eastern plains. Tits a barrel. There's nothing inside. Tits a shelf. A rather organized shelf. Tits a clean and wiped, well wiped table. Tits a clean and well wiped table. Yeah. I feel like this is coming at me. I'm very, I'm notorious, I guess not notoriously. Notorious with myself? I don't think that's the thing, but let's pretend it is. Uh, really bad at dusting. Including tables. I just, it's, it's something I've just like never done. Alright, I guess we go here. You enter the eastern plains. Every 10 steps will be a 30% chance encounter, or encounter chance. If you roll under a 30, you'll get attacked. Okay. Uh. Am I not going? Am I not rolling? What's the sign say? Nothing. Chad, what about to the east? Oh, okay. So they don't mean every step. They mean every tr screen transition. Uh-oh. You rolled under a 30, which means it's time for a monster attack. Things may look a little different, because like I said, uh, you know, I changed things up. I had to. Damn. That's where I wanted to go. This guy attacks by diagonally, because I just fought him. Um... I think my chance to hit him was 38%. That seems pretty low. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Number of attacks, cross sword. Oh, 93, okay. That makes more sense. I was explaining uh, two things about this game to friends. Uh, I was explaining that L Beaver Warrior is called Louise in the Japanese version, which is fantastic. Uh, and makes me, like, Beaver Warrior went from a monster I, like, barely cared about to one of my favorites because it's just called Louise. Which makes it really funny. Anyway, um, so I, <laughs> so that was, uh, I explained that to a friend who also thought it was funny. And I was like, hell yeah. But I also explained, because, uh, some workmates and I were talking about Baldur's Gate 3, which I have not played yet. Um, and I was, uh, I was explaining, uh, that I was like, speaking of dice, uh, I'm playing a game where you roll out of a hundred and if it's and I explained like the, the reverse crit and like the reverse fumble and they were like that sounds wrong and I was like I agree frankly I, I think it should be illegal but here we are okie doke you know the like the the monster being destroyed in a match would be a lot scarier if like your damage persisted between battles but luckily it doesn't oh there's a capsule here I can't oh right I can go through flowers idiot you already discovered this Need a DF caps. Oh, maybe it does go every step, but maybe it doesn't roll every step, but it rolls every like when you hold when you walk like enough in a row. It's an interesting way to do this. I hope I'm still getting a. Uh, I'm still getting XP for this. Okay. This is a new one, a viper. Alright, it's gonna move. Oh, it didn't even move down. Interesting. I don't know what its attack pattern is, so I'm like afraid to get near it. Oh, okay, it's diagonal. That makes sense. Cobrata. Beaver Warrior, no! Louise! Yeah, you should be okay. Should do some hefty hits here. But yeah, there's a there's a ton of monsters in this game, is what uh, another thing I learned. Well not a ton. There's maybe like fifty. But um as I suspected, the the more rare monsters are out of the machines and the higher floors. Um and there are like three tiers. There's like low chance, which is what all of these monsters except Beaver Warrior are. There's mid chance, which is what Beaver Warrior was, and then there's high or I'm sorry, I had it backwards. Low chance is the rare ones, high chance is the as the common ones, which all of these except Beaver Warrior are. And then Beaver Warrior is mid. Actually, I think Toragun is, is mid too. But then but that's just for floor one. So like floor two, those same monsters might be uh Um they might be like more common. So that's pretty cool. Bam, 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 bam. I do like the 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 pressure of like the dice just like moving on their own. 
There's a guy here. Hello, citizen. Dark cave up ahead is teeming with scary monsters. Dark type monsters are extra strong in there, you know. To saw someone, uh, to saw some guy run towards the cave. Hope he's all right. You go back this way. I'm curious what's up this way. Getting good rolls, nice. Is this just loop around? Oh no, okay, yeah, I figured there'd be an extra thing here. They had an AT capsule. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm hesitant to use any of the capsules because uh, I don't know when I'm going to replace the team. Like, obviously, Beaver Warrior is the staple, and I'm pretty, is pretty much soloing this. But I'm curious if uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll probably replace the other ones with more monsters. But I also don't know when I'll replace Beaver Warrior because I don't. I don't see myself playing with them the entire game. Eventually, their stats won't be as good. Rolled under a 30, which means it's time for a monster attack. This music reminds me of Metabots. I feel like the Metabots music was kind of chip y like this, but like upbeat. Alright, Gumbo's way in the corner. He's gonna take a sweet time getting down here. Uh, mm. Do this. Hopefully Brain, uh, brain whatever moves down. Nope, okay. Just Gumbo, huh? I don't want to attack them while in water, but I will. Actually, let's do this. Gumbo can't attack from here. Fool! I don't remember what Torrigan's attack is, but I can definitely hit with Beaver Warrior from here. Field bonus. Oh, yeah, I did get the assist bonus. So the cool thing about the, uh, the assist is that it doesn't take the damage of the monster into account. It just takes whether they're in position to deal extra damage, so... Ooh, and a crit! That thing is so fucking dead. 60 damage. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, it's cool that uh, it doesn't. You don't have to really worry about your other monsters. You can just use straight up. Just use Beaver Warrior, or just use whoever you want. Okay. Ooh, another crit. Two in one match. There is one thing I want to do after this, by the way. I want to um, I want to try and find a, lar a larva monster, basically the equivalent of larva worm, uh, who becomes great moth, because I think great moth can like, great moth has like a ton of evolution options. Oh, I can't go back that way. That's annoying. You enter the dark cave. Every eight steps will be a thirty. Oh, okay. So it must have been a certain number of steps before. I I thought it said every step. Will be a thirty percent chance encounter rate. Okay. Rolling those dice. Oh, right on 30. Come on. So I'm not going to get any bonuses here, which is fine. It basically frees me up. Because it means I can't... There's, like, no optimal placement for Beaver Warrior. Just going to attack. I am worried about his monsters getting bonuses, though. 53. Okay. I still love this dude's name is Gumbo. What a stupid fucking name. Why isn't he attacking me? But yeah, when we get to a new area, I think I'm gonna, um... I'll read off the possible monsters, and then I might just, like, reset until I get some that are, like, better. I don't think I'm gonna reset, not until floor three. That's when you start to see some of, like, the classic monsters. Or, uh, some of the, like, ones we're, like, familiar with. Like, Red Eyes is a low chance to appear on level three. But uh, most of them are level 5. Like, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician are on level 5. Um, but uh, Or some can be achieved through evolution. But we'll see. He's going to keep coming down, so I might as well just move into his lane. Okay. Also, yeah, so I was going to say, I thought it would take a lot longer to recapture my progress after I... Devastatingly lost, um, uh, lost the save, basically from the beginning. But uh, I just turned on speed up. It, it honestly, it took like ten minutes because I was still figuring the game out at that point, and uh, there were a couple other things. But I like, just, I basically just did that. I just sped through the whole thing. It's Yoey Wheeler. Ah, this sucks big time. Joey, are you okay? Wait, why are you here? Ah, you. Figured to could uh, end this game all by myself. The monsters in this cave busted me up hard. Actually, that's Boston. That's not York. Hey, to picked up a capsule earlier. Take it, Yug. 
You got an AT capsule. Use this on one of your monsters to power it up. This is it for me. To rest is up to you, buddy. All right, see. Ya. Uh, let's try left. I don't know which way to go, but I do want to make sure I don't go the right way. Classic RPG. Ooh, this is a new one. What the fuck is this? Who the fuck are you? But yeah, it seems like the best possible monsters, even if you're not, like, maining them, would be monsters that, uh... Uh, monsters that can have a wide attack range, you have a higher chance of getting assists. I don't know who the best ones are. It's called Hard Sucker. Ew. But, uh... You know. That would be the, the way to go. 22. Oh my god. Oh, Head Sucker. Sorry. Like, he has five places to attack, and they're all, like, pretty good locations. Beaver Warrior's attack range is actually kind of annoying. But, it's okay. Louise makes up for it in spirit. Oh, also, the uh, the monsters we'll get in capsules will be at different levels. So I think level two, they're in, um, I want to say they're level four through six is what you get them at, and then level one, it's, they'll, they'll be level one or two. So that's how they kind of keep, uh, keep from the game from like power creeping too hard, I guess, or keep you from needing to like constantly grind. Another cap? So, oh my god, dude. My luck. Honestly, though, and it, it's as weird as it is, I kind of appreciate that you can see your chance of getting an encounter as it goes. That is pretty cool. Like, seeing whether you like missed or like made the roll for an attack is, is pretty rad. Oh no, he attacks, to the, I think Gumbo attacks to the side. I'm thinking of Bigfoot who attacks diagonally. That's why he keeps moving around and not attacking, because he literally can't. Sideways attacking seems like the worst possible attack pattern. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to have it at all. Anything that like moves forward seems good. Or like diagonal forward uh, works as well. Bye bye Gumbo. But yeah, I want the Larva Moth because I can. It, I know it takes a ton of HP, but I can honestly just like leave it in my party and just like let it passively gain XP. Cause like I'm not doing shit with these other three, and they're still leveling up with uh, with Louise. Got a 99 there. That's pretty cool. Ah, damn it. Two, two. Uh, let's go this way. Eighty-eight. I like those odds. Cool. Yeah, I uh, this game's kind of growing on me. I'm kind of seeing that it's a little bit more in uh in depth than I thought it was. Uh, not that like it it has to be that in depth, but I am I am enjoying it more than I thought I would. Um. I, especially for its age. <laughs> it's it is undeniable how old this game is. Like and it shows that this was a game that came out in nineteen ninety eight, but I'm having a good time. It's different. My only regret is that this is clearly not dual monsters, which is fine, it doesn't have to be. But I kinda wish that um I had had a chance to play a dual monsters game in between playing this one, if that makes sense. Because uh I just came off playing Duelist of the Roses, as I mentioned before, so it's, it's weird to play, like, two different, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! adjacent games. Uh, okay, let's see. What are we doing here? Switch on this rock. Tit's connected to those lettered doors in some way, but you don't know which letter it's connected to. We'll decide with a dice roll. 0 to 39 opens A, 40 to 79 opens B, 80 to 99 opens C. Hey, just in case this is, like, RNG-based. Like, just in case this is like a press it once type of situation. Damn, I wanted A. I guess C's fine too. So is it just a one-time thing? I'm a DF capsule. Oh, it totally is. Interesting. Well, alright. My options were limited. I can only get one of them, so I'm like, it's fine. Okay. Left? Oh, another one of these. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's let's try and do a speed up one. I got shit to do. Okay, this is the problem with speed up. It's hard to choose that. Oh, actually, it's Gumbo, right? So I want to keep luring him over there. 
where he can't attack. Yeah, and there we go. So the battles go a lot faster when you speed up, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. So I don't really mind, uh, I don't really mind, or the catching up, catching up wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Three, man, I'm going a long way out of the way here. There better be a capsule here, yeah. There are a lot more capsules than I thought there'd be. Ooh, a spuck, a spuck capsule. The only thing I'm not clear on is it seems like certain monsters have multiple attacks, um, and I'm not sure how to do them. I think you have to unlock them, maybe with like an, I think it's tied to SP or technique or something. So there's, there's something that I don't know. And I wish I knew. All right, I'm gonna say this again. I don't care which one. I just want to get one of the capsules. The A door opened this time. Okay. A HP capsule. Nice. Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay. Gumbo again. Oh, Gumbo, what are we gonna do with you? All right. And it's just that easy. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> That's an annoying one. All right, here we are again. Six nine, let's go! Hell yeah, dude. Love the idea of Mokuba frantically rolling. What do we get this time? A again. All right, that's fine. As long as it's not B. Gumbo? Oh, you're not Gumbo. What did you do with Gumbo? All right, let's see. Oh, it's gonna hit Eye Mouth. Ah, fuck, that's bad. I shouldn't let that happen. Uh, okay. A little annoying. Oh yeah, you have like no HP. Okay. Came to DF capsule. Oh, there are guards over there. Let's check our capsules. So we have... So I think... Yeah, I think this is what it is. I think skill adds another attack to your monster. And I think Evo is the ones you need to evolve. The problem is... I don't know that you can get these... Um, except through the capsule machine. I don't... Like, they might be some... There might be some, like, scattered around. Let's check this real quick. Hold on. What do you have to say to me about this level? Dark cave. Uh, it doesn't really tell me the items here. I thought it would. Uh, let's see. Cheese chart, various data, floor data. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is different. Hold on. This is this is not what I wanted. This is just before the dungeon. Um, let's go back to the home here. Let's try the dark cave. Oh yeah, here we go. This lists all the uh, all the stuff. Oh okay, interesting. So I'm mean, just looking at this map. I guess the first choice when I had it was either an attack one or a defense one. The second one was HP or attack, and then the third one was defense or something in Japanese, <laughs> which I hope doesn't mean skill or Evo because that's gonna be annoying. I think I might want C on the. Uh, on that last one, because that's not one that's abbreviating, which means it's either an Evo or a skill one, I think. Let me reload this. Let me, let me see. Let's let's try this out again. Okay. So then this is the one I was talking about. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Gumbo! Oh, you rascal. Gumbo, I can't... I need you to not be this prevalent because I don't think there's a a monster named after you so I can't make a thumbnail with gumbo there's a trap capsule monster attack oh shit well well now I want the other capsule fuck okay wait hold on <laughs> okay I'm like well you know I want <laughs> I want something Something for my troubles. What's up here? Uh, so, it's so like, I don't know. I forgot what random battles were truly like. It's been too long. Most games I play now don't have random battles because game design has evolved. Oh, for fuck's sake, twice in a row? What is this luck? Also, what is this monster? Dinosaur wing, okay. I mean, it looks like 
the dragon, which is, I think, what a dinosaur with wings is, but you do you, I suppose. Oh, it attacks from that far, huh? Uh, what's your attack range, actually? I don't think I... Oh, yeah, wow. It's like the corners. Oh, so it's attacking the brain. Gotcha. Uh, there we go. Dead. Wow, you can attack from over there. That's crazy. Oh, did you move twice? No, I don't think so. Weird one. Okay. Ooh, a pot. You find a jar filled with sake. Take the jar. Take it. Take the blackout... Or take the jar of blackout sake. I think that's just ether. Oh, uh, I guess you can't call it ether in an RPG, huh? Hey, by the way, I've always wondered about that. Ethers in today's linguistics mean like chloroform like something that like knocks you out is is ether so then why the fuck in rpgs does it replace mana does it imply that you have to like get fucking blackout to get your magic back <laughs> i guess that would fit with dnd rules right of a, like a long rest i don't know it, it, it feels odd to me potion totally get it right potion makes sense ether even elixir makes sense ether is the one that is the odd one and I'm sure that Ether has, like, an Old English uh, translation of being, like, you know, something else. But it's weird that I think of it as, like, chloroform. <laughs> I bet they're going to say they wouldn't move and then this sake is going to change it. Hey, you're not supposed to drink on the job. Did you forget that you're lightweight? What? Man, guard duty is such a bore. To just want to drink, drink sake and take a nap. Hey, what's that you got there? Give me that tasty looking sake. Glug, glug, or hold on. Uh-oh. I may have brought something awful in the world. Uh, <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Actually, wait, hold on. I need to do this. I don't know if, that, I don't know if the microphone picked that up. I don't want to take too big a gulp of my drink because I'll either choke or spit it up all over my microphone. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the sir. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> I should make that into an, uh, an old, uh, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Er, <laughs> right, hold on. Yep. Yeah. Too drunk as a skunk. Tell me drink. One glass, but me, 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 me. honk shoe. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, is that a feral imp? Daughter, yeah, save me. Who are you here to get in my way? You'll soon regret that decision. You fight? Am I fighting a goddamn feral imp right now? Oh shit. Fairlamp and two others. Is that Fairlamp? Oh, it's Gremlin. Okay. But you just have the same exact pose as... Nah, that's fine. His attack is Giga Dark, which is con uh, concerning, but I think he'll be alright. What I really need to do is get onto that, uh... Get onto that meadow patch. Oh, fuck. Okay. Got a field bonus and an assist bonus. Ah, oh, shit. This is bad. This is gonna hurt. 19. 24! Ah! Ah! Beaver Warrior! Louise! Oh my god, 10 HP! Dude, that sucked. That was really bad. Oh my god, in the first turn? Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's fine. You can attack whoever over there. I'm up. I don't care about I'm up. I care a little bit, actually. I don't want you to attack all my homies. Oh, this sucks. I can't hit it from there. Uh, uh oh. Okay. I'm like actually having to think tactically now. Not I'm elf. Okay. 
Well, I think I have to use Tora Gun here, right? I can attack both of these. 85. Let's go. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Really? What happened? What happened here? This match just took a drastic turn. Oh my god, dude. You can't. You can't. He's too- she's too powerful. Not Louise! Oh no. How much damage? Four. I've got six HP left. Beaver Warrior living on a wing of prayer right now. Alright, I've gotta kill this one next to me. No, I have to move Beaver Warrior. Fuck. I can't move back! Ugh! This is so frustrating! I cannot believe how fucked I got right off the bat. That feels illegal. Alright, I'm taking this one out back first. Uh, yeah. This one up back here. Oh, super crit! Yes! I'm back, baby. I'm back. One shot, one kill. Okay, that's fine. You d you moved which who you were targeting, which is a strange choice. Okay. All right. Ready for this, baby? Y'all ready for this? Powered up by my the one plane here. Okay. Okay. You're goddamn right. What do I do about this fucking demon now? This literal demon. Louise! No, please. Not like this, no. No. All right. <coughs> I need an 18 or lower. No, other way. I need an 83 or higher. Or an 80, or yeah, an 83 or higher. <coughs> please, please, please live, please! Avenge you. I will return to this land. Okay. <laughs> I'm really upset. I'm like actually upset. That was uh that was devastating. I don't know that I'll ever be the same as a person. Okay, crit. Love to see it. Uh-oh. Not Tori Gun. Okay. That did nothing. Is that gonna be the end for uh is that gonna be the end for what's it called? For eye mouth? They've both they've taken some hits, I don't know their HP anymore. Ah eye mouth no It's not going well. This is uh This is not as the kids say poggers. No idea what Gremlin has left for HP. I know if I looked I'd be upset, so I'm not looking. God, this has gone so badly right from the start. They got a crit assist, or they got an assist power up on their first turn against Beaver Warrior. And then Torgon, with the very clutch attack, missed. Oh no! No! <laughs> they have 7 HP left. Alright, Brain Slime. It's time to act. I need a crit. I need a crit. It's not a crit! But it'll work. <sighs> I 
At what cost? At what cost? <sighs> I'm depressed. You saved me. Thank you, truly. It wasn't worth it. We lost too much. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> Louise! Thank you, adventurer. You saved my daughter. Please take this pea capsule as thanks. You got an evolution capsule. Oh, nice. Use that to evolve certain monsters. And thusly, the villagers gave you a kind send-off. And you once again set out to parts unknown. It's weird that he ended it that way. It's weird that Mokuba, who was actively trying to beat me, was like, and they sent you on your way. To one, Mokuba. It's impossible. T lost? Way to go, Yug. To knew you had, to knew you'd win. Now that you're safe, Joey, let's get out of here. Yugi, wait. T I just don't believe it. How did I, or how did lose? I'm supposed to it's be better in every way. It's not fair. I know that wasn't Mokuba because he didn't say Big Brother once. You, 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 I've got a, I've got to get back from out here on out. Now use Joey's doll. Okay. Well, good news. We're in need of more soldiers. <laughs> Oh, he only attacks sideways. Fuck him, never mind. I hate him. I miss Louise. <laughs> no. This sucks. This sucks. Fuck whoever designed this game. Dude, if you make me do a match right now, I swear to God. Oh, oh, oh. perhaps we place too large a burden on Mokuba. But there are four dark masters left for you to face. You had better pray that your luck holds. Hee <laughs> hee. Once again, didn't a baby shit on you? And then you died? How dare you speak to me? Okay. Hey, uh, I'm in need of this. <laughs> this is... I need this pretty badly, actually. <laughs> Tits a capsule machine. Tin search starship? Uh, yes. Toragon level four. No. Head sucker level six. Eh, maybe. Um, let me see. All right, let's pull this up. I'm still reeling right now. I want, it's important you know that. I I am not the same person that started this video. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, let's see. Floor data. Second floor. Uh, so what can we get out of here? High probability, so common, is uh, Imp, Elf, Mushroom Man, Goomba. <laughs> Goomba. I don't know who Goomba's supposed to be. Hold on. Let's see. Who is Goomba? Oh, it's Karibo. Is Karibo called Goomba? Are you kidding me right now? Hold on. Karibo. Uh, Japanese or Japanese? Oh no, it's called it's called Karibo in Japanese. Then who the fuck is Goomba? What if I search Goomba in the in the search here? How do you even search on fandom? Why do they hide the search bar? Goomba. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, otherwise known as the first hand trap. Karibo roughly translates to chestnut person in Japanese. It is also the Japanese name for the Super Mario Bros. enemy known as Goomba in the international regions. Dude, no fucking way. So it's just called Karibo and Google Translate translated it to Goomba? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, well, uh, Karibo's here. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, Mushroom Man, Great Percoblata, Dinosaur dinosaur Wing, Trigger, Protect the Fortress, Good. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I think they, I think you wrote this wrong. Good Dragon that protects the Fortress. Okay, so Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. He yeah, has an interesting attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Beaten and Big Ant. Like I said, sometimes they fuck up the links here with the translate. It doesn't, it doesn't always know exactly what to do. Louise is a high probability in this, so we can get Louise back, and I will. Uh, but I don't think that... I don't think you can get the... I'm trying to search through here. I don't know that you can get the insect any, or the, uh, the moth anymore. The fuck is great per or great par? I don't know what this is. Just a weird fighter. Dinosaur wing. 
Yep, dinosaur wing, the tracks. So then what does dinosaur link to? Cobrata, that makes sense. Uh, Goomba, Mushroom Man, Imp, Elf, Dragon. Beaten, Big Ant, is this it maybe? No, it's just Big Ant. Uh, okay. He, Big Ant does have an attack called Messiah's Position, which is pretty incredible. Uh, Bigfoot, Head Zucker. What? Oh, it's Bigfoot and then Head Sucker are different links. Okay. Then Holy Elf, which is Mystical Elf. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, they can heal. Interesting. Uh, then what the fuck is Imp at the top? Elf Kenshi. Oh, uh, Celtic Guardian. He has an interesting attack. It's like um, two right angles to his left and right. So he does have to attack from the side, but he can also somewhat attack forward, but not well. Um... Let me go. Let me just look for the Great Moth one. Let's go to Monster Capsule Capsule List. Uh, let's find. It's called something else. It's not called Great Moth. The translation is weird on it. Um, I cannot remember what it was called though. And this isn't really oh Larvamos. That's what it is. Uh, it's Larvamos instead of Larvamoth. Uh, okay, so on the second floor, it's a low probability chance. So it's a rare chance to get on the second floor. We couldn't have gotten it before. Okay, so that's one I want to kind of hunt for. It is it is rare, which is going to be annoying, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's pop this bad boy open. I don't think I want Headsucker. Actually, let me check Headsucker while I'm here. Um, yes. Headsucker was here? No, that's Great Par, whatever the fuck that is. I think, that I think this is Headsucker. Yes, Headzacker, okay. <laughs> um, medium probability on the first floor. It attacks in like a W, which isn't super good, but I guess that's kind of like how Louise attacked, but not really. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Its stats aren't that good, so... Okay. Beaten. Nope. Winged Dragon level 6. Honestly, I'll take Winged Dragon or Winged Dragon Guardian in the Fortress. That's fine. I don't want to waste all my star chips here, but I do want to ref uh, refresh the ranks a little bit. Um, so I'm fine with that. It's a, it's a capture machine. Tinsert Starship. Yes. Karibo! Hey! I mean, I gotta keep Karibo, right? Like, legally, I have to keep Karibo. I'm gonna try and go for all, like, actual Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters on my team. <laughs> Make a dragon again? No. Headsucker? No. Mystical Elf? Mm. No, her range wasn't very good. It was only, like, a one square range, which is not ideal for me. So, we're going to not do Mystic Elf. Dinosaur Wing? Eh, he's a weird attack. Axe Raider? Ooh, Axe Raider. Uh, I think Axe Raider is rare. Uh, no. Uh, Axe Raider is... not rare. Oh, I mouth this back. That's right. Uh, Axe Raider is medium probability. Decent HP, decent attack, uh, but it does attack from the side, rendering it useless, so. It's gotta go. I would, I really do want to try and reset for the uh, Larva Moth. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Big Insect, that's not Larva Moth. Horn Imp, nah. Bigfoot, definitely not. Axe Raider again. Mountain Warrior, no, you attack the same way as well. Big insect? No. Beaver! Louise! Okay. Alright, well, we're obviously keeping Louise. Obviously. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, though. Are your stats better than before? I can't tell. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I failed you, and I'm glad you're back. Kariba, look at him. Little cutie. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. We got Brain Slime. I'll probably table Brain Slime, to be honest. Your, oh yeah, you attack forward. Okay. It's not a bad one. Kariba attacks, also forward. Beaver Warrior, we already know. Joey attacks sideways, rendering him useless. Okay. What do I have left? Three? Okay. 
We have space for one more, essentially. And I really want Larvamoth, so. Great. Uh, okay, I think I'll uh, I'll cut this part. Oh, Rogue Doll. I think I'll cut this part out and then I'll come back when I, uh, when I have a Larvamoth. Ooh. Ooh, but a level 6 Beaver Warrior, actually? Okay, I'll take that one. Uh, <laughs> it, it just saves me a level, so I might as well, right? Uh, okay. Horn Imp? Nah. Celtic Guardian? Oh, I am tempted. Ugh. No, he attacks weird. Torgon? No. Beaten? No. Rana? Okay, right. I'll cut back. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. This is tempting. I don't know where Exodia, uh, Exodia's arm comes from. Is Exodia called something else? In yeah, I don't see him on this list. What the fuck is Exodia called? Hold on. Exodia. Uh, I guess we'll go left arm just to make sure. Exodia left arm. Man, what a cool looking card. Exodia fucking rocks. Um, Braco Esquerra do Prohibida. Oh, that's in Spanish. That makes sense. Or Brazo Esquerra del Prohibido. I guess that makes sense, right? Arm left of prohibited. So, forbidden. I guess, uh, right. Japanese is left arm of the sealed one. Uh, Fuin Sureshi Mono uh, Hidarude. Um, which I can't seem to find on here. It should translate directly back, right? Let me look at uh, the monster list. Let's see. Let's, uh, oh, here we go. Exodia's on here. Exodia. Uh, victory is guaranteed to the point where you send four bodies in the battle. Oh, just you just have to send them in the battle? Oh, I see how this is. Okay. Victory is guaranteed at the point where you send four bodies in the battle. After the battle ends, one of the four parts will randomly disappear. How to get? None. Okay. <laughs> so I think... Uh, oh, I guess you can't get Exodia himself. That makes sense. Uh, Ude? Uh, I don't know which one is which. Wait, one of them is the body? What? How? Oh yeah, his body is one of the bo is one of the, but I mean body parts in this. And then Ashi. His legs. Okay. And I guess his left and right arm, right? Uh. <laughs> okay. So, they're all found in different machines. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're all found in different machines, and I think I just got the only one available now. Yeah, second floor castle machine, low probability. Um, sick. Well, I feel obligated to keep it. As much as I don't want to, <laughs> I feel like I have to keep it. Because it's rare. Uh, how many starships do I have left? Oh, that was my last one. I mean, honestly, that's fine. Alright, let's change the formation up. Uh, Beaver Warrior, six. Look at you. I am so fucking proud of you. You've worked so hard to get where you are. Probably put this right here. And then... Kareeb Abdul-Jabbar. We'll put here... And then, who else did I have? I guess I still need a fourth, right? I'm, I'm just keeping Exodia for now. I could put Joey, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could put another Karibo. Or another Beaver Warrior in the meantime. Because I, I have to win a fight, so... Put him there. Uh, I guess. I don't know how many you can hold. So we'll see. Alright, well, battle time. We are at the end, but I'm not done with the capsule machine. Hey, you! Battle me! Uh, sure. Uh, actually, no. Let's make a hard save here. And I want to test something. Let's do a save state. And now we'll, uh, we'll, re we'll refresh. We'll reset. I'll see you're going to see something you shouldn't real quick. Oh, just kidding. I forgot. I thought the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! banner is blocking it. Okay. What the fuck? 
it just doesn't work. My save is like fully corrupted. That's crazy. What? Why doesn't my save work? All right, well, I guess just rely on save state. <laughs> that's that's so weird. I don't know why it's like that. Um, I like might be able to fix it manually if I like go into the folder and delete the save and then make a new one, but I don't know, that's weird. I guess I'm fine with save states for now, so as long as I don't save state myself into like an unwinnable problem. All right, we'll do one battle. And then uh, I think in between parts, I'm gonna try and hunt for Larva Moth uh, on, the, on the machine, because it seems like it's gonna take a while. We got Big Ant, okay. I guess I'll use the, the lesser Beaver Warrior, since it's closer. It is kind of neat being able to just like use any monster on my team. Like I'm, I'm fine using any of these, because they're like all leveled up. I like all of them, it seems like a good time. Eighty-nine, nine damage. Do this. Okay, it's not attacking me, which means I will win. Oh, I got me with a, with a diagonal attack. Get a starship. Okay. Okay, we just need one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.